Ernest Rutherford was a New Zealander born in 1871. Who was Rutherford and why do we remember him? Why do we remember Rutherford? Because he managed to do something successfully that many people had been trying to do for thousands of years. Let's go back to the ancient Greeks. Many of them believed that the entire universe was composed of just four elements, earth, air, water, and fire. They thought that everything we could see around us was made up of these elements in different combinations. Well, it's a nice idea, but it's not true. In fact, there are many other elements and these are not even elements themselves. The alchemists, hundreds of years ago, knew that there were lots of elements and they tried for many, many years to do something that they thought would be wonderful, to change one element into another. And the favourite trick was to see if they could change lead, dull, ordinary old grey lead, into bright, shiny gold, which then was the most valuable metal. And they tried all sorts of tricks, but they couldn't do that either. Well, Newton came along, Sir Isaac Newton, the man who told us all sorts of things about gravity and forces in nature, and he said, look, there are lots of elements. Maybe the elements are made up of tiny little particles, atoms. Wasn't an original idea, but he said, perhaps these atoms are tiny, very tiny, and can't be divided up. And then Rutherford came along some time later and said, well, I think matter's made up of atoms, and there are different atoms for different elements, but maybe they're mostly empty space. Perhaps it's a little bit like you and a few of your friends going down to the local football ground and playing around with a few of you standing in the centre and many of you scurrying around the outside, but mostly nothing in between. And that idea of the atom was a very important one. Two French people came along, Mari and Pierre Curie, and in their laboratories they discovered something called radiation. They discovered that there were some substances on the Earth's surface that were giving out radiation, that were breaking down spontaneously. And Rutherford seized upon this idea and he said, maybe if I take some of this radiation and make the radiation penetrate other materials, we can get all sorts of wonderful things happening. Here's Rutherford's laboratory. Have a look at that. How would you like to find something if you lost it in his lab? Later, he built this apparatus, and this is very important because it's in this very piece of apparatus that he put gases and then hit those gas molecules with radiation and he managed to do something that people had tried to do unsuccessfully for years. He changed one element, nitrogen, into another one, oxygen. So he was the very first person to do what the alchemists couldn't do.